uh, hi uh, this project is all about uh, plant leaf disease uh, deduction and classification using uh, we are going to use like four algorithms KNN NB uh, SVM and CNN algorithms okay so basically these things can be used for all the type of leaf and uh, uh, we norm we have used a uh, plant village data set okay right for uh, for the demo purpose we used uh, five categories and uh, 3500 images and of course it can be expanded to the entire 38 categories of the uh, plant uh, village data set and uh, up to 55,000 uh, or whatever it is if you want to even train like uh, 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs images fine you can do it the more images you use uh, you will get a very good accuracy okay so that is the concept of it uh, so here we talk about uh, three al uh, all the four algorithms here and uh, uh, KNN uh, okay uh, NB and uh, SVM and convolution neural network okay so let us get into that uh, execution part of each and every uh, algorithms okay so first i'm going to run uh, knn and nb so uh, and we're going to see that results and all, for all the things the data set remains the same and uh, if you want to have a look at the data set uh, we can just have a quick glance of the data set here okay so these are the data sets we are going to use uh, for example if you look into it uh, we talk about around uh, 700 images per uh, folder so so this can be expanded okay based upon your size of this uh, ram and your system on the graphics card you can you can very well increase your uh, training uh, images okay so so this is how it is okay okay fine so let's talk about uh, uh, the KNN and N, uh, NB first, okay. So, I'm going to execute that algorithm right now. So, okay, so now we get into this uh, KNN part, okay. So, I'm going to give that uh, input uh, leaf which we are going to take it. So, let me take this uh, something like, uh, yeah, leaf curl should be okay. Okay, so if you look at it, okay, uh, KNN is matching with uh, uh, leaf curl is perfect and when you go for NB, it's matching with this one. So it means that NB is strong, okay. So KNN is correct, but still, that's okay, no problem. Uh, one second, I'm going to run. We can try with different images, not a problem at all. You can see the results. Okay, now I'm going to test the accuracy of it. So the accuracy runs for in KNN algorithms. So you can see that accuracy which is running. So it runs with the entire set of images. Okay, all those 3500 images it will run through that uh, images to find out the uh, accuracy part. Okay, so it will take a couple of minutes. So let's wait. Okay. Uh, so the KNN accuracy is like 74.5. The KNN and both uh, NB. So that's like 74.49 uh, percentage. Fine, no problem. Uh, so I'll go with the next level of uh, testing. So let's go with uh, SVM. Okay. So for KNN, how much we got is like 74. Approximately, I would say that it should be 75. Okay. Okay. So now let me uh, let us get into that SVM part. Okay. So SVM part, once again, like you know, it's going to be in uh, 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 it's a combination of algorithms. When you go for like clustering part, we are going to use K-means uh, clustering, and then we go for that uh, GLCM for feature extraction. Uh, and then uh, we'll we'll be using that SVM classification part. Okay, so let me uh, let us take an input. Uh, let's let's go the same. This is uh, leaf like you know curl image or whatever, and uh, it's going to enhance the contrast. Okay, uh, that is that the uh, pre-processing part of it. Okay, and then we'll go for the segmentation part. So segmentation part is going to happen in terms of clusters. Okay, so you can see that the clustering is happening here. Uh, and which cluster you feel that you know we have an uh, uh, issue that I would go with the cluster 2 I'll say okay and you can see the segmented image okay here 
so this is the perfect segmentation of the thing and you can see the, all the GLCM uh, matrix uh, feature extractions here we have like mean, standard deviation, entropy, uh, RMS and variance, smoothness, courtesis and skewness, IDM, contrast, correlation, energy and homogeneity okay why you need these features okay of course okay you need all these features when you go for classification part and these features will be stored in the mat file and further processing these mat files will be referred for the classification part okay so now we'll go for the classification result okay so this is the classification result for this and uh, you can see the difference and i'll tell you the uh, thing and this is the affected region percentage okay so now i'll going to change uh, uh, the image here the clustering part is done okay and then we'll go for the classification part okay so, so it is so this is what okay okay so you're going to use this thing and when we talk about the uh, accuracy we can also see that uh, accuracy here and uh, the affected re region you can see it in the cnn part i'll just show you how it is done so the accuracy here is around 98 percentage so uh, so k n was how much 75 and this is was 98 okay okay now let's walk into this uh, uh, once again okay you can see the results here uh, very well okay for each and every uh, you, you can see that entire thing the affected area is given as 15 percent okay so the affected area is shown as 15 percent here and uh, moving forward you can see that uh, percentage accuracy for each and every image what we are going to use here for the data set and uh, all for all the 500 and then we go for uh, you can see that uh, with the iterations is around like 98.3871 that is the accuracy okay okay now let's talk about uh, the CNN part okay so okay so here I'm going to talk about the uh, CNN based uh, leap deduction okay once again let me run it okay uh, let's run that CNN part so once you run the CNN part, okay, uh, it 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 will ask for the input, okay. So I'm gonna take uh, leaf curl, same thing, okay, or anything if you want, it's not a problem. Okay, so once again, it uh, we have provided an option to uh, visualize the clusters, okay. I'm going to say like cluster two okay fine the clustering is done so now you talk about here you know you can see that affected area what is the area is affected and also the energy is coming up and now uh, the cnn is running actually okay uh, let me walk through the entire parameters here so all the images have been put into a matrix of fine uh, like five cross two okay and uh, that's a table what you put up and you can see that like all the five categories and the total number of counts is around like 700 per uh, uh, category or per label okay and so if there is any mismatch or it will make it uniform and so it's it's almost uniform it's not a problem and next we'll go for the input layer okay so what is the input layer size we use here is like 224 into 224 into 3 
and with a data augmentation of none okay and uh, normal dimensioning will be auto and of course the mean will be like 224 223 uh, for single okay and the classification output layer with properties will be like we are the, uh, the classification layer will be what uh, in cnn will be using fc1000 okay and uh, the pre-trained network what we are going to use here is uh, resnet 50 that's what we are going to use here okay and uh, what happens here is you can see that um, the parameters coming up and once again yeah okay so these are the uh, input images we are taking the uh, leaf uh, images okay uh, these are the diseases but of course uh, you can take any number of categories it's not a problem at all uh, it's where you can always increase your uh, thing okay so this is a cluster and then this is the uh, the first section of the resnet architecture 50 okay you can see that uh, input uh, one and convolution so this basically shows the structure of the resnet 50 and of course this is the features uh, when you when you plot that recent 50 uh, pre trained network okay so it will take at least like 5 to 10 minutes uh, to run that entire process and get you the results so i'll be passing this video for 5 minutes uh, and I'll, I'll i'll show the results yeah uh, the cnn is done and you can see that uh, uh, parameters here and this is the uh, uh, confusion matrix what we have uh, for the entire part okay and this accuracy is around almost 100 uh, percent that's the accuracy of it uh, and then uh, when you look at the categories part and this is the category uh, what is displayed here and once again when you go for the contrast on all the features have been once again we have reiterated here and we are displayed so based on that we will understand that you know uh, it's like CNN is best when it when it comes to the accuracy part okay and once again uh, the main thing is uh, we can increase that number of images here because uh, 3500 images will be less okay so you have to go with like 50,000 images actually and uh, if you if you really go with like 50,000 the entire data set then the, uh, then the results will be really good and of course you can increase the categories of it okay thank you